Iran to the U.S. Lift the sanctions first and I'll talk to you. Since the new U.S. administration took office, it has expressed readiness to rejoin the 2015 nuclear deal, which its predecessor ditched in 2018. However, the U.S. demands that Iran must take the first step and reverse an acceleration of its nuclear program. But Iran says the U.S. must lift the sanctions it illegally reimposed on Tehran before the Islamic Republic reverses its steps. Iran has been the most compliant party to the JCPOA. It was the U.S. that did not honor the multilateral accord and withdrew from it. We showed enough restraint and made many concessions. Now the ball is definitely in the U.S. court. If it lifts the sanction, we will come back to the full compliance. The nuclear deal was signed in 2015 between Iran and the six world powers, including the U.S., which promised Iran the removal of international sanctions in return for the country curbing its nuclear activities. In 2018, Donald Trump unilaterally scrapped the deal and reimposed sanctions against Iran. In return, the Islamic Republic took stepwise measures that scaled back the country's obligations to the pact. The last step was taken in early January, when Iran resumed nuclear enrichment at 20 percent purity, way above the 3.67 percent cap set by the accord. Iran says its retaliatory measures are within the framework of the deal. The tiered suspension of our obligations is pursuant to Articles 36 and 37 of the nuclear deal. Following the U.S. withdrawal, the European signatories were also buying time and did not take any action to offset the U.S.'s sanctions. Iran had no choice but to reduce its commitments to keep the balance between its rights and obligations under the deal. Now, to overcome the U.S.-Iranian impasse over who goes first in returning to the deal, Iran's foreign minister, Mohammad Javad Zarif, has proposed that the EU could, quote, choreograph the moves. Zarif says if the U.S. proves its bona fides and stops economic war on his country, Tehran will go back to full compliance with the international accord. As Tehran and Washington are locked in a you-first, me-next policy, Iran says the U.S. is the one that left the deal and it should take the first step back. Echoing the same stance, Iranian lawmakers here warn that if the U.S. insists on further Iranian concessions, it would lose the opportunity to return to the deal. Yusuf Jalali, Prost TV, Tehran.